Hey, you're watching Cool Asian Tutorials, and today we're gonna learn how to do an air flare from my friend B-Boy Mandark. Hey, what's up, guys? It's B-Boy Mandark here. I'm gonna be the one teaching you how to do air flares. Before you start an air flare, you should first uh, start to stretch. It's always good to stretch because you don't want to hurt yourself in the middle of an air flare or maybe when you're landing on an air flare. So it's always good to get a good stretch at first before every session and before you try practicing air flares. An air flare is all about a momentum in your swing with your legs because it's all in the legs. It's all it is. It's all just a swing. So the first step in learning an air flare is your leg. You're going to have a good swing over first, your good start. So when you start, you're going to have to start here and bring your leg like that. And you have to get used to that motion. So I recommend just practicing it over and over and over again. And you're only using one hand and one leg uh, up at, at a time. After you have a good first step and you understand the concept of swinging kind of, you have to learn how to fully swing because you want to swing down and then after you swing down, you want to carry your momentum back up with your legs. And that's the motion, that's the, yeah, that's the motion that's going to get you that swing whenever you go up and around. That's what's going to get you around in an air flare, not your arms. It's all on the swing. All right, so a regular swing looks like this. See how I used the swing and went all the way around like in a circle? Because that's all it is. It's just a circular motion with your legs and your body all together in one. Let me try it again. So after you've gotten a really good swing, you have to understand how to whip it back up because that's all that's left to an air flare now. It's taking your momentum and throwing it back up and over. So let me demonstrate what I'm talking about, what I mean by whipping it back down and over. One thing that you have to do in an air flare is you always have to commit and you have to have the mentality that you're going to go through with it and that you're not going to stop mid-air because if you stop mid-air, you're just going to fall and you're never going to get it. That's the problem with learning air flares. Uh, you have to remember that it is just a swoop. So with your legs, you have to swoop down with your feet and bring it back up. That's the whole momentum of a swoop because all it is in an air flare is just a simple momentum trick and that's all it is. So you have to swoop with your legs like that. So as you can see here, you start, you get that first step in here, you get that width, and you jump over from there. Catching. Whenever you gotta catch an air flare, that all just comes from practice, 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 and from getting a good jump over. You'll, you'll see the ground in front of your face, and you're like, well, instantly, it's kind of common sense, you know, put your hand before you smash your face. Uh, that's all there is to learning an air flare, and eventually, if you practice it enough, some people learn it quickly, some people learn it uh, very slowly, but it, it's all at your own pace. So, uh, I wanna give a shout out to Baytown, Texas. Uh, for helping me get to where I am right now and helping me learn an air flare. Shout out to YA for letting me be on their sidewalk right now and filming. Shout outs to B-Boy Jeremy right now for letting me uh, be in his video as a guest and teaching this air flare so that you can learn it too one day. And that's it. Peace.